What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler, a nice classic story. Hey, hope you guys enjoy this one, drop a like if you do, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, what are you waiting on dude, links at the very top of the description, we stream lots of games, we stream Rust, we're playing Minecraft tonight, we're doing lots of stuff, okay? All I can say is you better follow me. You're not going to regret it. I hope you guys do that. Thank you very much in advance if you do. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. What are you waiting on? Without further ado, let's dive into this video. So, this one happened fairly recently, back in summer of 2019. This is kind of a Coke Chronicles era story that wasn't necessarily told during the Coke Chronicles. So, like I said, this happened, uh, you know, not last summer, but the summer before that, right? And at the time, you know, I was going through my pretty large Coke binge, which the majority of you listening, I assume, are fully aware of. If you're not, go watch my Coke Chronicles series. There's a playlist on my channel. Uh, but assuming you're familiar, then you know that pretty much every day I was doing blow, you know, a gram minimum. And... On this particular day, you know, it was a normal day. I woke up and I needed to grab some more. I had just run out. So I was trying to find some friends to maybe meet up with to throw with me because I was always trying to get better deals on my blow, right? So I end up hitting up Ashley, you know, a good old Ashley, right? Beat up Ashley. I'm like, hey, listen, what do you want today? Let's link up. I need someone to buy some blow. And she's just one of the many people I had hit up just to see if anyone wanted to go in with me. And of course she was down. She was like, yo, yeah, I actually need a gram. You should come over. My parents aren't going to be home for a bit. Let's smoke, get some food, you know, let's do some shit, right? So I hop in my car immediately, you know, I get ready. I hop in my car and I ride over there and we get to chilling at her house, right? You know, we're, we're having a hoot, we're having a holler, we're playing some zombies. Uh, we're having a nice, jolly old time. Uh, and we we wait for the Coke man, right? I hit up my blow guy and I asked for two grams, you know? We split it right down the middle, just a G for each of us, which good enough for me, you know, especially when I only had money for a gram at the time. Uh, it's really important to find someone else to throw with me because I, I got to find that deal, you know what I'm saying? I got I to gotta save that extra 10 bucks, dude. That's a pack of blunts, you know? If I find two people to throw with me, I I could save enough money to buy like weed and blunts. That's a big deal. You got to find the people to throw with you, right? But either way, so we're chilling, we're playing some zombies. And while we're waiting for Coke, man, we roll up a blunt and we go out back, right? We go out back behind our house and we smoke a blunt. You know, we're hooting, we're hollering, we're having a nice jolly old time. And Coke man pulls up, right? So I run out front, hop in his car, I grab our two grams, and he was kind enough to bag it up separate just like I asked. Great plug, just a wonderful dude, always helping out. So I go back into her basement, you know, I, I she ended up going in her basement once I ran up to meet with the plug, and then we just met up again down there. I throw her her bag of blow, and we decide, yo, it's time to do some blow cane, dude, let's get geeked. And as we're getting ready to crack our bags open, we're like, wait, dude, we should definitely get some food, you know, like, we should 100% get some food. I'm like, yes, dude, we're going to do blow. We're not going to want to eat. I haven't eaten yet. Where do you want to go? So we're kind of discussing it a little bit. You know, we're thinking about five guys. We're thinking about some other options we got. And I'm getting my shit together. You get ready to hop in the car and go get, buy some food. And as I'm doing that, you know, I check my phone and notice that Isaac hit me up. For those of you guys who watch Coke Chronicles, Isaac is a fairly common character in that. Tweaker of an individual, but also a pretty longtime friend of mine. So, you know, he hits me up and he was asking what I was doing. And I look over to Ashley and I'm like, yo, you want to meet up with Isaac? You know, she also knew him. She's good friends with him. She's like, yeah, dude, let's go hang out with Isaac. So we both hop in my car and we ride over and pick him up, you know. And once we get over to his house, he's like a 15 minute drive. And mind you, I have my blow on me. Ashley left hers, but I have my Coke on me, you know. So I'm sitting there and, I, you know, I got a nice little grand baggie in my pocket ready to have a hoot of a day. Driving through the summer, you know, I'm a little bit baked, ready to get geeked, ready to get some food in me. And we get to Isaac's house and pick him up, right. And we decide we're all going to go get food together. You know, once he gets in the car, we ask him, we're like, yo, dude. Are you trying to get some food or not? He's like, yeah, absolutely. Let's go grab something to eat. So we, we you know, we're kind of d debating on where to go. We're kind of thinking about it. There's a lot of options. By the time we go to Isaac's house, the five guys isn't really an option anymore. That was something that was closer to Ashley's than it ever was to Isaac. So we're sitting there and we're trying to figure it out. We're like, dude, where do we go? And we realize that just across the street, there's a pot bellies, right? Now, listen, pot bellies is one of those things that I feel like is good, like very rarely. Like, you can only go there, like, once every, like, three to six months, and it's good. You know, if you go too often, it kind of sucks. 
But I hadn't been there in a very long time at this point. So they throw out pot. I think it was Ashley who threw out pot bellies. And once I heard that, I was like, yo, that sounds fire. I'm all in, dude. Let's go to pot bellies, right? So we slide over there, and it's in this big ass strip mall that's like right across the street from Isaac's house. So we go pull into this pot bellies, and I've got my grandma blow on me. And we go inside. We sit down, and you know, pot bellies, they got those big ass booths, you know, they got those tables too. Very comfy place to be, but usually it's pretty crowded. The, on this particular day, it was like a weekday during the summer. So the whole strip mall was pretty dead. So there's only like two other people in there. So we're sitting in this pot bellies, you know, we get our food. I got, I don't know, whatever fucking sandwich I got. I don't know. Really, the food was not really the focus here, right? I got whatever sandwich I got at pot bellies. They got whatever food they got at pot bellies. And we're sitting there, you know, we're eating our food. And I decide, I'm like, dude, I can't wait any longer. Like, I have to do cocaine. So I ask Isaac, I'm like, yo, dude, you want to come do some coke with me? Like, let's go in the bathroom. And he's like, yeah, for sure. Let's go do some blow. So we go over to the bathroom and listen, it was kind of sketchy, Okay. Potbelly's bathroom was one of those bathrooms where, like, you know, you, you just close. It's like a individual one, right? It's not like you go in and there's stalls. It's just the, the single-person bathroom. So I go into the bathroom, and I realize very quickly, like, oh, two men just walked into the single-person bathroom. Like, we're going to look sus to everyone else in the store. But, I mean, fuck it. Let's get geeked, right? So we lock up the door. We turn the light on. And, you know, it's, it's pretty spacious in there. There's a lot of space. And I pull out my phone and I put it on the counter of the sink, right? I bust out a dollar bill and I pull out my baggie. And my bag was just one nice rock, dude. I'll admit, Ashley got fucked. I took the nicer bag, okay? I ruined their life. I took the way better rock. I gave her the one that was a little crumbled up. I said, thanks. I'll be taking that. All right. So I bust this rock out and I'm like, holy shit, dude. This is wonderful, right? Like, this is amazing. We gotta get geeked right now. And Isaac's looking at this, and he's like, holy shit. And I remember just taking it and smacking it against the back of my phone just to see how firm it was. And, ooh, ooh, it was nice. None of that powdery bullshit, right? So, of course, I bust open this bag, and I carefully untie it. My plug always ties super... I don't know. How do drug dealers tight as tie of knots around these little bags as they do? Like, how do these people learn how to do this? I've always wondered that. It really blows my mind. But either way, so I'm untying the, the tightest knot in the world, dude. It looks like fucking Jerry from Tom and Jerry tied this knot, okay? And I'm trying my hardest to, to untie it. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Like, this is fucked, right? And finally, I get it undone. And I lay a, a little bit of the rock out on my phone, right? I break a little piece off and I put it on my phone. I crush it up. You know, the classic debit card dollar bill maneuver. You know how it goes. And once it's all crushed up, I chop it up and I, I roll up a bill and I get ready for fun, man. You could never do this shit nowadays with COVID. I wouldn't even step foot in a public bathroom nowadays. But man, oh man, I'll tell you what, back in the day, cocaine in the pot belly's bathroom ain't no problemo, okay? So as soon as I chop up these lines, you've got about four of them on the back of my phone. And I'll admit, I made some fat ones. I chopped up a little more than I really intended to. The rock turned into a lot more blow than I thought it was. So once it was chopped up, I was like, oh shit. We're at pot bellies. It's not like I can just put this away. Like, fuck it, dude. You know what? We're we're doing all of this right now, you know? So I look over to Isaac, and I'm like, are you ready? And these lines literally span the length of my phone, and there's four of them. And he's like, holy shit, dude. Like, yeah, absolutely, right? Let's get it. And I didn't realize, like, this is probably a point two. Looking, like, looking back at it, this I probably broke up like a point two a blow already here. But I was like, all right, fuck it, dude. I rail the first line immediately down the hatch. I pass the bill over to Isaac. He rails the line. He And he lets out this, like, scream. He's like, ooh! It's almost like he forgot we were in a public place, dude. He was like, holy fuck! And I was like, Isaac, chill, chill. Shh, quiet, dude. We're at a pot bellies, bro. Like, this isn't home, dude. Like, we're gonna walk out. People are gonna think we just did some terrible things in here, dude. Two men walk out of the one-man bathroom, and one guy was screaming, holy fuck. I, I don't, dude, we're going to get some dirty looks. You know, I was, I was a little nervous after he let out that yell. But either way, at this point, we were too committed, okay? There's still two more lines of blow on my phone. It, we're ready to go, okay? So I lean back down, and I rail this other line. Down the hatch it goes, down my other nostril. I had to switch it up this time because I remember on this day, my left nostril was real sensitive. It's fucked up. I was doing blow a lot at this point, dude. My left nostril was absolutely obliterated, boys. It was not good news. So I was sitting there and I was like, oh my God, dude. Like my, like my left nostril, like I should have just done it both out of my right. You know, like why did I do the first one on my left? I tweaked, right? So I switch it up, do my second line. Once I do the second one, I'm geeked as 
fuck, dude. I'm talking, I'm absolutely sent. As soon as I do that, I remember my face just went numb, dude. Could not feel my teeth maybe 10 seconds after the line. I pass the bill over to Isaac. He cashes the final line on my phone. We split the gummies left on the phone. You know, we wipe it up with our finger, you know, rub it on our gums. Yeah, the cocaine procedure, if you will. And we're ready to get out. So I open the bathroom door. Isaac goes out. I go out. And we go sit down. And Ashley's sitting there, and she's just kind of smiling. And she she heard Isaac let out that holy fuck. And as we walked past, I was really trying not to pay attention to the looks, but, like, everyone was looking at us, dude. I got really, really uncomfortable. So I get back there, and I'm like, I sit down at the table, and I'm like, oh, my God. And she's like, Ashley's like, why didn't you guys invite me in there? And I was like, oh, my bad, dude. We got a little cuckoo in there, you know? So after that, we're sitting down, and we're pretty uncomfortable, and I'm like, dude, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, everyone probably thinks we just did some really sus shit in that bathroom. We gotta go right now. You know, like, like let's leave this pot bellies immediately, okay? We've got coke on us, too. I don't, I don't want anyone looking at me any more funny. So, we walk back out to my car. We hop in there, no problem. And Ash is like, yeah, let's go back to my place. Let's do some coke, right? Isaac is fucked up isaac will not stop talking since we got back to the table he'd just been rambling about nonsense he would like literally this guy was having like a manic episode he was like oh yeah i yeah, think i'm gonna play oh yeah i'm gonna gonna play some basketball oh yeah i'm gonna play basketball like all this crazy ass shit just nonsense bro hoopla coming out of his mouth so i'm there i'm like okay maybe ashley and i will be the only ones doing coke for the rest of the evening we'll just get this guy stoned right so we go sit back in my car right and I, I turn the car on, and I'm getting ready to leave. And this is in a big strip mall, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm trying to find my way out of this parking lot. And as I'm getting out of this parking lot, this cop comes in in between these two, like, like this gap between the strip mall, like these two buildings. This cop comes in and turns behind me. And I'm even a little nervous because I'm geeked, right? I'm like, holy shit, like, there's a cop right behind me. But at the same time, my plates were good. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't terrified. But... Isaac saw the cop, and he loses his fucking mind. He's like, oh, my God. He's like, dude, there's a, like we're going to fucking jail, dude. He's like, where's the blow? Dude, hide it. Like, give me it, dude. I'll throw it. Like, hide it. Like, we got to run, dude. And I remember I had to lock my car doors. This guy was about to, like, jump out of my car. I was like, dude, hey, like, his lights aren't even on. He's like, he, he, like, we're literally just going through the lot, dude. It's okay, right? And this guy's freaking out he's like yo park up dude park dude you gotta stop dude park up right now i'm freaking out so i'm i'm looking around and i'm like holy shit this guy's really getting me nervous like this guy's making me freak out now so i park up coincidentally in front of a starbucks right i post up in front of the starbucks and we all you know we sit in my car for a minute and the cop rolls past of course the cop rolls past and isaac's like dude oh my god like Let's, like, let's go sit down for a minute. Like, let's go chill, dude. I gotta breathe, dude. We gotta go hide in there for a minute. So, and, you know, me and Ashley are kind of, like, trying to calm him down. We're, like, trying to talk him down a little bit. We're, like, yo, dude, the cop drove right past us. He doesn't care. I think we're okay. We can probably go. But Isaac is losing his fucking mind, dude. It's as if he just had, like, a nom flashback. He's going crazy. So we get out of the car, and we're like, all right, let's take Isaac to, st you know, let's get him a little caramel, you know, caramel, you know, caramelized coffee or something. Let's get him something nice, you know what I'm saying? So we take him out of the car, you know, and we go inside to Starbucks together, and we sit down. Starbucks is a nice place to kind of chill, especially when you're on cocaine and kind of sweaty, because it's always well air conditioned in a Starbucks, you know? It's always the perfect temperature, I feel like, and it's just chill, very comfy, comfy seats, a nice place to be. So we sit down in this Starbucks, right? We're chilling out, and this is a big, big Starbucks, mind you. I'm talking, they have, like, really secluded booths, they have, like, separated seating. It's a really big star. it's a sick location, right? So we're sitting here. And how we're laid out, This will it'll be important how we're laid out in a moment, right? Isaac is sitting alone on his side. And then Ashley's on my side, kind of on the inside, and I'm on the outside of the booth, right? So if she wanted to get out, she had to, like, I had to get out first, right? So we're all sitting at this booth, and Isaac is just tweaking. And the cop, coincidentally, just to make things worse, he, like, parked up within view of the Starbucks. Not like he was watching our car or anything, but just coincidentally, I guess he just posted up for a minute, maybe taking his break in the strip mall parking lot, right? 
So Isaac sees that this cop is parked up, and he's losing his fucking mind. He's like, "Dude, he's waiting for us, bro! Like, this cop's coming, dude! Like, we're gonna we're gonna go to jail. We gotta go." And me and Ashley are trying to tell him, "We're like, dude, I promise." This cop has does not give a fuck, dude. He he hasn't even noticed us. He he doesn't know we exist right now. Has no clue. We could go get in our car and leave right now, and I guarantee he wouldn't care, right? But Isaac isn't thinking like that. He's like, dude, we have coke on us, bro. Like we have to like get rid of it, dude. You have to get rid of the coke. And he's trying to. He's like starting to talk louder and louder. And I'm like, dude. Be quiet. Like, we made a scene in Pop Bellies. We cannot make a scene in Starbucks as well, you know? Like, you got to quiet down about the whole Coke thing. And he's like, dude, we, we got to do the Coke. Like, we got to get rid of it right now. And I'm like, all right, chill. And Ashley, she looks over at me, and she's kind of laughing. And she's like, you know, he's got a point. Like, we should do the Coke. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, I'm like, well, will you get me back later? Like, will you throw me some of yours if I let you do some? And she's like, yeah, I got you. So I'm like, bet, okay, we could get a little cocaine going in the Starbucks right now. So like I mentioned earlier, we were sitting in a booth, which made it kind of easy to do cocaine at Starbucks, right? It made it very easy because it's not like there's people staring at us. There wasn't really many people there. It was a weekday, you know, there's maybe two or three other people and none of them were really very close to us. So I felt like we were probably fine. There was like, I had to look over my shoulder to actually see any people, We were not in view of the counter. We were not in view of any real people. We were kind of in an ideal spot to just sit down, do some blow cane, right? Obviously, we could see the officer, but that guy can't see us. He's not going to look in and be like, oh, are they doing coke? Like, it's not like dude's got his fucking binoculars out. So we're like, dude, fuck it. Actually can have a little bump off the Starbucks table. So... I bust out my baggie, and in my pocket, you know, I'm kind of holding it to my left towards where Ashley is, and I'm crushing it up in my hand a little bit. I'm trying to crush it up in the baggie just to make it a little easier so we don't have to crunch up rocks at the table, and eventually I break it up enough where we can kind of just get our card in the bag and scoop some out, right? So I hand the bag over to Ashley, and I hand her my card, and I hand her a bill, right? I gave her a new, fresh, rolled-up bill, and I was like, here. Use this, you're good to go. So I hand her the baggie, I hand her my card, and she scoops a little bit out, right? And she just puts it on the table. Luckily, at these booths, it was beautiful. They had these nice, like, finished wood tables. Perfect for doing coke. Honestly, just wonderful, right? So we're ready to go. She scoops out this little bump. And instead of even using a bill, she just bumps it right off the debit card. And I'm like, yo... That's probably a smarter way to do it. Just crush it up a little more. That, That, you know, looks like you just straight up, like cramp some rocks up your nostril and she's like yeah you know they'll dissolve eventually and i'm like that that's that's some hardcore shit (laughs) you know like hey hey you go dude let's go so she hands the bag and the card back to me and the bill and i'm like well fuck it dude i'm gonna do the same thing so i turn towards ashley almost like i'm like grabbing something and looking back at it it was probably very suspicious to anyone else who looked at us but i don't think anyone else looked at us the whole time and i lean over kind of like almost like into her lap and i do a bump you know because i don't want people to see when she was doing it in the booth it was kind of easier for me to cover her but me being on the outside wasn't very easy and isaac the whole time is just fixated on watching the cop just sitting there So we're doing this blow, and eventually, I offer Isaac a little more. I don't know why. It was just because I was too geeked, and looking back, I totally shouldn't have. But I offered the guy some more like an idiot, and he, of course, jumps on it. He's like, yeah, dude, let's go in the bathroom, though. Dude, that cop is watching. So we go in the bathroom. We do another bump, and when we come back out, the cop is gone, dude. I remember we were chilling in there for what felt like forever. It was really only like two minutes because we were just doing card bumps. But we went back out, and the cop wasn't even posted there anymore. And I tell him, I'm like, Isaac, look, dude, the cop left, bro. Like, you don't have to tweak. It's all good, dude. Cops skedaddled. We're chilling. I think we can leave now. And he's like, yes, dude. Like, fuck yeah, bro. Like, he could still be around the back, though. Like, we should go outside and be careful. So we go sit back down in the booth, and Isaac's like, stay here. I'll be right back. I'm going to go check. So me and Ashley are kind of like, are you serious? And he was. He gets up, and he walks outside, and he, I I mean, obviously I didn't follow him out, but I'm going to assume he probably did a little sweep of the building to make sure the cop was gone. And he comes back in and sits down with us. He's like, yeah, all right, we we could probably leave. We could probably skedaddle. So that's what we do, right? We get up, we go back to my car, we whip back to Ashley's house and have a nice evening of cocaine and zombies, dude. It was a fun old day, right? I eventually dropped Isaac off, had a hoot, right? Hey, it was a nice evening, but thank you guys for tuning into this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, gamers.